Hello, Captains. It's the Doctor. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Ensign Ricky, and welcome to my continuing, now very late continuing, of my Federation Faction playthrough from 2012 and 13, which I am now continuing in 2018 because Victory is Life, the new expansion, has just come out, and I want to play all the new missions that the uh, expansion has under the Gamma Quadrant, and in order to do that, I felt it best to continue my old playthrough and then just do them all on Ensign Ricky from this perspective, uh, since you are familiar with Ensign Ricky in that previous playthrough, I thought it would be a good idea to just connect him to these missions and add to that playlist. So if you're wondering why this is here, why this video is happening, that is why. Go back and watch part 90 and I will link it in the top right corner. That video will explain everything and go over my build and all of that so that you will know what is happening. Otherwise, what is going to happen now is we are going to go play two of the missions under Frontiers. Uh, that's right, two in this one video, and that's going to lead us up to the Gamma Quadrant. So in the last video, which I just published, I played the Kobali Crisis. I had that to do on this character, even though I have done it before. The way they rearranged things in the past made it so that I actually had to redo it again. But now that's over, and it was a good um, it was a good test of my ground-based character anyway. It was a good test of him, and I think I got the build going pretty good. Uh, since then, I have cleared out my inventory, uh, gone through things, uh, organized, haven't done any more upgrades or anything, just kind of organized my stuff a little bit better. And I also did some space battles just to test my ship build out. I did the uh, red alerts the Borg Red Alert, the Tholian, and the uh, Zenkethi one on this character just to test out my ship build. And it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's doing pretty good. So I think we're going to have a great time doing these missions. So today, this could be a very long video. I am going to do, under New Frontiers, I am going to do the last two missions called Scylla and Charybdis and then the Renegade's Regret. I'm doing both on this character in this one video. So, yes, this could be a very long video, so sit back, relax, grab something to eat and drink. This is gonna be a long one, but to make it so that it's not so incredibly long, I'm going to kind of move through the missions pretty fast. And by that, I mean I'm not going to read all the dialogue. I'm just gonna kind of hit F, accept everything, and just play the missions so that we can remind ourselves what they are about. If you want to see me go reading through the dialogues and taking my time with the missions, I have individual playthroughs of both of these missions on my channel. Search for the mission name, Scylla and Charybdis, and then the Renegade's Regret, and you will find that I have done this on another character, um, Complete, where I read the dialogue and have taken my time for each episode. So if you want that longer playthrough on each one, go check out my original recordings of those. This one is just going to be a refresher, basically. We're going to refresh our memories of what these two missions are about. Now, these lead right up to the Gamma Quadrant, so I feel that this is very relevant to what we're about to play in the Gamma Quadrant, because these are the last two missions, and then right after that, starts the Gamma Quadrant, and they are all about the Herc. The Herc is the big story arc of Victory is Life, Gamma Quadrant, Jim Hadar's stuff. And these two missions lead into that. So I think this will be a good refresher for all the Gamma Quadrant stuff we're about to play. So let's begin. The Alliance has decided that its defensive tactics against the Zenkethi have gone on far too long, and it's now time to bring the fight to them, find the Zenkethi fleet, and end their proto-matter crusade once and for all. Starfleet Intelligence believes a Zenkethi attack on an Alliance world could happen very soon. With their new proto-matter torpedoes, billions of lives could be lost in moments once such an attack begins. We've spotted several Zenkethi fleet groups on the move in the Alpha Quadrant. I'm assigning you to patrol an area near one of those groups. If they launch a proto-matter attack, 
I want you in position to put a stop to it. So that's what we're going to go do is chase down Zinkethi attacks on worlds and stop those protomatter attacks. This is the Bajor set. So we've got Bajor defense. Uh, deflector, covariant shield, impulse engine, also a uh, mechleth. So this probably won't benefit my character so much here. Uh, I don't really need this Bajoran stuff, but I will get the mechleth for sure. Let's go, and to make this go even quicker, we're just going to transwarp straight there. No time to waste. Because we're doing two missions in one video, and I don't want to sit here for hours and hours, which could happen because none of my videos are short, that's for sure. You all know that, though, by now. Scouts have found an attack element of this. Let's go. Like I said, basically, I'm going to FFF everything and just go in and destroy everything. Oh yeah, look at this, man. <laughs> now that is awesome. That's what I call a build, folks. That was sweet. Well, My Defiant build, I love it. I love this. And it's only a tier 5 U ship, remember. I'm not even flying tier 6. This is a tier 5 U. It could be even better. But it's still pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Tier 5 U. Tier 5 U for life. Oh, I'm gonna get that proto matter bomb. Proto matter torpedo, that is. I can get there. Got him. All right, now let's take this thing out. There we go. She doesn't even have to do anything. I'm doing all the work for her. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? Kern and I will arrive soon. Next. Go ahead. We'll secure things here and join you shortly. My goal is to save every world and every world I shall save. Oops. Actually, uh hit the wrong button there. I wanted to do the spread, but oh well. Girl, I already dealt with the Zenkevin. <laughs> they are gone. Planetary Defender, that's right. Man, I dealt with the Zenkethi before you even got here. Captain Parr has defected to the Alliance. She's revealed the next target of the Zenkethi fleet. Okay, so we're going to Bajor. Let's do it. That was sweet. I saved every planet on my own, might I add. On my own. All by me lonesome. You made it. I made it the now. Time for battle. Time for is a big time for a big battle Fight now. Well. And with honor. 
Okay, this one will be a little tougher because there's going to be a lot of Herc to deal with. But, see what happens here. Or Zenkethi or everything. I don't know. They're launching protomatter torpedoes. This is Sarah Spinner aboard TF9. Feed the torpedoes to us. Keep those infected ships off of us if you can. It's time to fight. Pay for their interference. said leave the torpedoes to them so I will do that this time I think we did it. Alliance forces. Let's grab this loot over here. Gotta take all the loot <clears throat> because I can use it as salvage. <clears throat> Beam support team to DS9. Okay, this thing. Destroy this alliance. Right. Okay. That was sweet. Came down pretty fast, actually. Beam onto the Zinkethi battle station and shut My uh, <clears throat> strategy there was to take out all the other ships, the battleships and other fighters and stuff first, then the, then the station. That seemed to work just fine. Okay, this will be fun. I'm gonna use all my um, all of my drones. Where are all my drones at? Pull them all out. Look at this. I'm like drone central over here. Oh, ship. This is General K. 
in that room, just ahead. Now, if I recall correctly, there's an accolade where actually if you override all these controls... I didn't do that last time, I... We have an unwanted guest. Finish him off quickly. I want to try it this time. Get away from that console, Monoplay! I am going to kick you. Go get him, Horta. Get away from that console, Ow. Come on, guys. to end me once before. It won't go any better. Come on, guys. Distract him for me. They know we're here. Good. Secure those consoles. I've been trying to do that. One to go. Get to it while you can. Get away from that console, Monoplay! Clean up, follow me! Do it this Hey, I did it. Alright, accolade complete. Nevertheless, you, you fight persist. like a cling. Will you die like one as well? Oh, that was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that the last time they I played this. They rerouted their weapons control to the command deck. But, um... At least least they're they're making it fought well. Someone told me in the People comments be coming back from that. that you can actually uh, hit all of the consoles while you're in combat, and they were right. Cool. Thank you for that. Now I did it. Had to use short range transport instead of turbo. Pretty crazy, huh? Just all kinds of stuff going at once. Target the Zenkethi forces and fire! Zenkethi forces on attack vectors! They're relentless! Captain Parr, I own, or perhaps the most. you and Zenkrati were my best captain's men. Today, I lost both of you. This crusade is unjust, and the battle is lost. It's over. Stand down now, or we will strike you down without hesitation. Surrender, Admiral, or fight, if you have the spine for it. Do you really think the conflict will end here, now? Fools, all of you. Haha, <laughs> that took over pretty quickly. Alpha team reporting. The command deck is locked down. This is Beta Team. Commencing operation now. Victor. That was pretty sweet. Pretty fast, too. Incoming data from planets targeted by the Zenkethi. Something is happening. Show us, Lucari! Show us the price of your meddling! Patching it through!
this would be the um, Herc waking up. I think. Impossible. And yet, those ships, like something of legend. They belong to the Herc. The Herc. We must return to our ships immediately. Now we have a big space battle with the Herc. I know them. The Herc. Very recommend. Many a Klingon has dreamed of battle with the Herc to test themselves as Kalis once again. DS9 is under attack. This is Captain Deathblow! Speaking for this Enchanted Force! Well, they go out pretty quick. All ships! Target the dead shooting vessels! The front fully are everywhere! Take them! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Well, I was doing just fine. We've lost shields. DS9 is taking Oh, come heavy on. Damage. I had it well taken care of. You saw it. You all saw it. It was well taken care of. There's we no way. There's no way DS9, DS9 just took it that much damage. Disabled. There's no way. No it's way. DS9, this is Markov. Report. There's no way DS9 took that much damage just now, because I had it well taken care of. You saw it. I saw it. I, I call shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shenana and Gens. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Look Cops at it falling back. apart. Nearly everything else is offline here. Captain Sean, all Alliance forces. The Enterprise is here to help. The Herc are coming in fast. They're hard to hit. One is like stuck right there. Just singularity breach. Singularity up. Can't get a clear reading. Kalis didn't have the dominion to deal with when he battled the Herc. This complicates matters. 
There we go. That was bothering me. Shoot, sorry for the uh, quietness, guys. I was just really, forces, really, as always, we have to talk I know really that into that battle. <laughs> that was like intense, but fun. Did you see me flying in and out there, in and out, and around, and zoom, 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 zoom. I was zooming everywhere. Hey, that's done. Actually, I got that done pretty fast. What could have led this Enkethi to attack Bajor? Let's take a Mechleth. We found no signs. Yeah, I got that done pretty fast. I thought that was going to take longer, but I guess when you don't read the dialogues and just do the mission, it's actually pretty quick. So we saw basically that the Herc have awakened and the Dominion is helping us out. Of course, that's going to play a part in a big part in this, uh, you know, whole victory is life Gamma Quadrant stuff we're about to do. So very relevant to what we're about to play. All right, let's do the next mission, the Renegade's Regret, also under New Frontiers. Captain Nethpar, the Zenkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the Alliance prior to the assault on Bajor, has turned herself into authorities at Deep Space Nine. Debrief the captain and determine the nature of this new information. Captain Nethpar has turned herself into authorities at Deep Space Nine. She's the Zenkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the Alliance prior to the assault on Bajor. Captain Parr is now actively seeking asylum and claims to have more tactical information for us. I'd like you to debrief the captain and determine the nature of this new information, if possible. All right, we're going to get some Vulcan spice tea, and our reward for this is a unique science emitter. It does Tetrion damage, Starship Shield Restoration, Drain Expertise. It's not going to benefit our ship build here, but if I needed a Tetrion build, that would be good. I've got something called a ground trait called Watch Your Back. Plus res after being shot from behind or both sides. Space tray called redirect armor. Plus res after being shot from behind. A draconian ceremonial pole arm. Melee weapon. And then just tetrion damage console. The only thing that really excites me is maybe this emitter refocuser if I was making a tetrion build. But I'm not right now, so we'll take it anyway. But yeah, there we go. We need to go to Deep Space Nine and luckily we are at Deep Space Nine. Again, the Renegade's Regret. Man, my sh I, I, I love this little ship. I mean, this Defiant, mm, so sweet. Especially as an engineer, because 
I can do a lot of healing and stay alive in this escort very easily. It's really cool. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Okay, let's go talk back here. LaForge. Good to see you again. Tensions are running. All right, yeah, we know. Speak with the renegade. We keep meeting under the chief of security. Okay, now we're basically going to go relive her life or something. That led up to this point, anyway. Thank you. No longer are you ready to hear my story. Uh, so basically we're going to listen to her story, or play her story, actually. It began on my first mission as captain. I remember it clearly. Captain's Log, Mission Cycle 132. We have arrived at System 91, local designation EOC. Admiral Zen Tarak prepares to conduct Dransuli cleansing operations. Our tactical reports indicate minimal threat from the locals. This should be another egg run. Once again, I'm not going to read. Keep the Admiral waiting. I'm not going to read through the dialogue. Of course. But if you are interested in the dialogue, watch my original playthrough, and you will see it. Okay, we got a lot here, and I don't think I have everything available to me, but that's okay. Enoki Fighters. What does this do? Lock trajectory. This is the freighter Starscrub. We're not warriors. Spare us, please. Have failed. They've had their cause, Captain. In order to follow protocol. Please stop. We're civilians. There's children here! Listen, we have Latinum. It's all yours if you let us go. You're about to blow up a fortune. Be reasonable. We're a hospital ship. We're not a threat. Scanners. We have no weapons. Just sick and injured people. Doki. Yes. Detonate proto matter bomb. The Zenkathy definitely going to the biggest extremes here to take out the Hearth Herc by destroying entire worlds. Literally. Thank you, sir. You can see how she would not be happy about that. That mission took a toll upon me and my crew. To eradicate the Dranzuli was one thing. The eradication of innocent Ioki was another. Despite my personal feelings, I remained a loyal officer. Things would change under Cronus III. 
I led the protomatter bomb squad myself. Right. I am a Zinkethi. Fifty credits says Kashan drops the bomb. Again. I want to make I'll sure all of my abilities are right here. here you know. Actually, we can't even. I guess all my abilities are there. <laughs> Concentration of Transuli eggs ahead. Does it matter where we put it? No planet gets down. That's the huh. Admiral. I'm That's sure cool. he'd just love to tell you. You know, after giving you a year of latrine duty. Both of you, shut it. We got a job to do here. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just stay disciplined. Remember what happened on Hitaro. have to optionally examine the murals, which I will do. Are these fools gathering Dranzuli eggs? They wouldn't want these eggs to hatch if they knew what was inside them. Worshipping the eggs? I guess so. Starfleet. Say the same about us. Status right? report, Captain. I don't have any structure yet. I'm not yes, sir. Looking. We found something interesting as well. Transmitting data now. Starfleet. Interesting. Your scans indicate that image is centuries old. More Federation time travel nonsense, perhaps. Proceed with your mission, Captain. We don't have time for archaeology. I like that. At least they acknowledge that we do uh, get into our time travel problems. A federation. Get 
Captain. Transuli signatures are most concentrated here. This looks like a prime detonation site, Captain. We'll get the weapon placed the That'll be me. Get the- Okay, they're gonna work on that while I have to go out here and fight things. I don't really like the weapon set of these in Kethi. It's very odd. Is that the door closing? It doesn't do as much damage as you think it would either. No kit powers either. Placement complete. Priming for detonation now. Well, that didn't do any damage to him. Recharge is very slow on it. I like this ability. A bomb squad reporting. Need to stabilize the proto matrix here. Too close to me. Ha, huh, look at all those criticals. Oop. I wasted that on him. The bomb's ready, but we're stuck in here. Transporters can't lock on. Okie dokie. Well, we're going to leave them to die. I left those men to die. And for what? So the Admiral could reach his next genocide on time. It was madness. So there were no evacuation plans? No rescue efforts? None. The Autarch's orders were quite clear on those matters. And the Admiral was all too willing to execute those orders. When we reached the Atosi system, it had become clear. Our crusade was not a just one. Could have told you that. Atosi. Yes, sir. Counselor Hale Atunum. Scour the Captain. No signs of infestation, Captain. Shall we scan the moon next? Yes. Helm, set a course for the Atosi moon. Concentration of Transuli aids on the Atosi moon. Very well. Prepare the torpedo launcher. As you can see, we have been truthful. Captain, return to the planet and conduct as you. Captain, I'm picking up low-level signs of infestation across the planet. 
negative, Admiral. I believe the Atrosi were being truthful here. There's no sign of Jansuli. Sir. So they're gonna blow up the blow up the uh, no, planet anyway. We're not a threat. We're not. I could stomach no more after that. I could no longer walk upon that path of madness. And my crew felt the same. Together, we began to walk a new path. And she defected. Yes. Helm, get us out of here. Admiral Zen Tarak has a lot to answer for. We can only hope the Zenkethi Crusade has come to an end at last and that nothing like this ever happens again. That path, that choice, led me to where we are now. Walking it ultimately gave me the strength to stand against the Admiral and defect to the Alliance. I think we can both agree that journey has reached its end. From this point forward, I begin to walk along the path of atonement. That journey will never end for me, but I will help as many as I can with every step I take. Thank you. I hope your superiors have the same opinion as well. As long as the Autarch lives, he will continue to pursue his insane crusade. I believe I can be of use to the Alliance when the time comes to stop him. Once and for all. So that's probably going to be a future episode to look forward to, is stopping the, um, the Autark. I shall abide by their decision until our paths merge once more. Okay, so that ends that. That, of course, is not the end to the Herc storyline. It is just the beginning. But it is pretty much almost the end to the Zenkethi storyline. Sounds like Captain Parr has had some harrowing experiences out there. It's clear that the Autark is dedicated to wiping out every last threat to the Zenkethi by any means necessary. Disturbing. Alliance officials will be reviewing the Captain's request for asylum soon. The help she's given us, and your report, will go a long way toward the approval of that request. I can imagine that the end of the actual, the actual end completely to the Zenkethi arc will be taken out the Autark somewhere in the future. But pretty much that ends it with the other Zenkethi for right now and will lead us into the Herc arc. Okay, so I'll take this emitter refocuser. Good, and now we're all caught up. We are now finished with New Frontiers. So that was the uh, Zenkethi arc. We are finished with that. And now you can see the next thing to start is the Gamma Quadrant, the brand new stuff that we have in Victory is Life. Fourth expansion to Star Trek Online starts with Storm Clouds Gather. So that will be our next episode. That will be the next mission we play. I will make each mission its own video. So there will be seven total because they just released another new mission today. You can see it here called Home, which I'm guessing will be at the end of the Gamma Quadrant arc. So there are now seven missions to play and I will record each one as a separate video and I will take my time in those videos. I am going to read the dialogue because I have not played those missions before. This will be a first time playthrough of these missions. So I want to read the dialogue and see what the missions are all about. So I will take my time in the following videos. But that will wait, that will be the next one. So we'll start the next video with Storm Clouds Gather. And that will start my official playthrough of the uh, Gamma Quadrant arc for the very first time. I'm very excited to get into it. Cannot wait to see what these missions have to offer everybody. Seven new missions. Going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to do one a day. So expect one video every day. Well there you go everybody. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.